Hey, Luke here from Action VFX. Today, Runway ML released a new tool that I thought would be really cool to just do a live demo walkthrough, similar to how I did with uh, the rotoscope tutorial, where I rotoscoped three shots in 10 or 15 minutes in real time. Uh, so I wanted to do something similar to that. I've never used this tool before, but I want to just make a real time video. So there's not gonna be any edits from here on out. And let's just see how this works. So the tool I'm gonna be using today is on Runway ML. So we've talked about them quite a bit in the past. Uh, they are a web-based machine learning platform. They've got a lot of really cool things there. Uh, the, the biggest being like a rotoscoping tool. But very recently, today, at the time I'm recording this video right now, they've released their new in-painting tool. And this is something that I've wanted to get hands on with for quite a while. Um, so I'm really excited to actually be able to do this. So what this does is it's essentially removing objects from your shot. So you can think um, how, you know, the Pixel 6, Google released the magic eraser tool. So you can just draw and remove whatever object from your photos. And using machine learning, it also can analyze those objects very well uh, as far as making it look very realistic. What's cool about this is this is with video. So it's giving me a little demo up here in the right side, just says brush over an area to begin in painting. And I'm gonna play through my shot that I have here, but it's a demo shot that we used for our um, visual effects, you know, actual demo shots, but it's a energy blasters product. So I, this plate just kind of came to mind, found it on a, a local hard drive, and I've been wondering if I can just completely uh, remove this actor and see what it looks like using this new tool. So bear with me, I'm going to be figuring this out as we go, because I have not used it. Um, looks like we can view the final result or the mask that's being created, so I guess if we paint like that. It's giving us a preview. Here's our brush size. I'm assuming that this is going to work somewhat like the other, uh, the green screen tool, the one that I use for rotoscoping. So I'm just gonna create a mask around our actor here. Also gonna select the gun. And the cool thing about this being built on machine learning is the object detection is so much better than how things have been in the past because it's not limited to, can I see this edge and where is this edge moving to? It recognizes that people have people shapes, which makes things easier. On top of that, you can select you know, vehicles or other things that have been trained much, much easier. Okay, this is not perfect, but we're gonna see what happens. I'm also interested to see, she kind of has curly hair up here, so we'll, we'll see how that ends up. Uh, covering that as well. Okay. So I can see down here on the bottom of this timeline that it's placed a keyframe. So I'm just gonna play this through on this preview and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, so similar to the other, the green screen tool uh, for Roto, it's analyzing the selected object and actually, yeah, that's actually pretty good, honestly considering I had only had one frame that I actually painted on that created the keyframe. So I'm just going to add a couple more, kind of refine this a little bit. I'm gonna hop over to exclude because it looks like it picked up some of this building. I'm gonna exclude that. I'm gonna go back up to the first frame 
picked up some of these other objects. Just gonna paint those out. And the really cool thing about this too is it updates. And so like if I make a change to this keyframe here, it continues to refine throughout. So like here's an object. It recognizes and continues to analyze and push that through, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Again, just kind of making some slight adjustments here. Nothing extremely crazy. Can go back to include. See if I can get the back of her vest. And I'm always fascinated to just about how this plays back in real time because it's cloud-based. So it really doesn't matter what your computer specs are or anything of that nature which is pretty awesome. Okay. And I honestly don't know what to do with this curly hair, so I'm just kinda gonna leave it for the time being. I call this video, let's see what happens. Okay, so she keeps walking towards the camera. And if I zoom in here, that's actually pretty, that's pretty locked down, honestly. Again, I, I don't really know what to do about the edges right here, but this mask in and of itself is pretty spot on. I think that's pretty impressive. Again, for like just a couple minutes of work and keyframes that have been dropped here. So I'm going to run this preview. Zoom back in a little bit. Okay, I'm spotting can go back to exclude right in here. It's picking up that bulldozer. Can run it back, preview again. Okay, sweet. So we've got this mask created. I I think all that I have to do now is change our view mode. I'm gonna exclude this right here. I think all I have to do is change this view mode to result. Oh my gosh, it's a Christmas miracle. Okay, I'm gonna back it up from the beginning. Run preview. And that is our final result. It's not anything mind blowing, but honestly, if we're talking about like a vehicle that's being removed, I purposely picked this shot because it's pretty intense <laughs> for what needs to happen. And I was just really curious to see how it would work. But I mean, I think if we just kind of worked back in here and refined a little bit but another thing to consider is so see where she's at right here the camera never actually sees the object or I say object the road that she's walking on in that spot so up here is a little lower there's like a pipe on the ground but then when she kind of comes up that way and then the camera pans up with her 
which means it's actually creating its best guess at this result, which is kind of showing that little bar. But again, I don't think that's terrible. In most situations, again, <laughs> it's all about the time consideration too, right? So this is, what, less than 10 minutes of this result? Whereas if you were moving a vehicle that was maybe passing by, like I even have one in the back of this frame, that would probably be a ton easier to do. Because it's a lot more subtle instead of removing the main focus of a shot. But honestly, I think this is a really cool tool. And the fact that it just entered beta, I like it. I like it and I'm here for it. But it's also really important. I want to know what you think of this. Is this a tool that you could see yourself using, you know, maybe not in production or in production? I don't know, but I would love to get your feedback, get your thoughts on this, because anything that can speed up the process of doing mundane work more quickly and getting something even like 80% of the way there uh, can really, really improve a lot of different workflows. And I'm very interested to see how this continues to play out with the advancements of machine learning and how that kind of ties into art. So it's really cool. I've been keeping an eye on Runway ML for quite a while. Um, check out their platform. We'll put a link in the description and everywhere else. But I really, really want to know what you think in the comments. Um, is this something that you think you can use? Is it just um, like a passing fad and it's gonna go away? I personally think it's here to stay. I think that uh, while this technology is early, it needs to be developed more. Um, but even the practical applications of this was released today, this is the first time I've jumped in. I've never used a tool like this necessarily, except for the rotoscope uh, functionality. So let me know what you think. This has been a very random exploratory technology video from Luke Thompson. And as usual, I'm from Action VFX. Have a great day.